In the history of esports, we've witnessed iconic moments in the form of unlikely comebacks. EG might be able to do this! Evil Genius is their holding! But in League of Legends, the word comeback has become synonymous with one game in particular, CLG EU versus Moscow 5 at DreamHack Summer 2012. An occasion when, five years ago this week, two European titans stood toe to toe, putting on a show that fans will never forget. I cannot believe that that just happened. <laughs> By June of 2012, Moscow 5 were an unstoppable Gets freight train. He's down, dodges around. Kenja will finish him off. Back towards the top is also going to be another kill. And wow, Moscow 5 just completely rolled that one. It looked a precarious position. Slayer's going to go down. And that was perfection. To Moscow 5, Stop. Alex gets a kill. Odd one will go down. X Special goes down. He is surely dead. There goes the stun. Heal is used. And there is the ace. After exploding onto the international scene at the start of the year, their hyper-aggressive, highly innovative style had already earned them back-to-back -back IEM titles. The trail of destruction they left behind them was littered with celebrated opposition, building Moscow 5 a reputation as one of the most feared teams in the world. The gods of LAN it seems. The other main contender in Europe at the time was the fan favorite, CounterLogic Gaming EU. Spearheaded by their talented mid laner Froggen, CLG EU had built notoriety for a late game style which relied upon defensive play and calculated team fight executions. Previous clashes between CLG EU and Moscow 5 in online tournaments highlighted just how different their styles were. M5's near reckless aggression and kill heavy early game focus strongly contrasted CLG EU's patient, cerebral approach. Out of all the teams M5 faced, CLG EU appeared to have the strategy that gave them the most trouble. The rivalry was quickly growing into one of League's most intriguing, as fans eagerly anticipated each and every encounter between two of the best teams in the world. Entering their group deciding matchup at DreamHack Summer 2012, both teams had 2-0 records, and the winner would secure the first seed heading into the event's playoffs. The draft was classic CLG EU and Moscow 5. Obviously we've got Froggen on the yep. Bird of Prey and Ivia. We've got Lee Sin on Diamond Bay. We've got Alex H on Carthus, so we've got all the, the usual suspects. Surprisingly, the early game went CLG EU's way. And there he is. <laughs> it was Froggen that actually got the kill as well, so Genja Stuck around. But Moscow 5 turned things around with some trademark tower dives and well executed skirmishes heading into the mid game. And Yellow P is going to be finished off. Move straight in here. Carthus salty is going to go down. That is a kill. Approaching the 30 minute mark, the CIS powerhouse led in kills and objectives taken. This is what we say so many times. When Moscow 5, they smell that advantage. They absolutely nail you. And their advantage was highlighted by an enormous gold lead. Things were looking grim for CLG EU, but they stalled M5's advances by compactly defending under their inhibitor towers and abusing Anivia's wave clear. Anivia pops the ulti down and pretty much the minions are dead. As time went on, M5 continued to easily secure dragons and barons, stretching their gold lead in excess of 20,000. So CLG sat back ready and waiting. They're going to take the fight as it comes to them. For almost half an hour, CLG EU held off M5's advances into their base. Even though the match appeared to be getting away from them, CLG EU's defense was unflinching, and as the game dragged out longer and longer, their economic disadvantage became less and less relevant. If CLG win this next fight, Moscow 5 could actually end up losing this game. With frustration building and their patience wearing thin, M5 went all in on an aggressive base push in the bottom lane. But they walked right into a trap. Alex is finally going to get caught. Alex has been popped straight away. They're going to go towards Darius. See the port rise coming down as well. The ulti comes out. Darian mentions to pick up one kill. The ulti was cancelled. That ulti was not quite run through. Genja is going to get taken down as well. And CLG absolutely coming out on top of this one. It is going to be a two for one. Genja's going to go down. He will get popped. Now Diamond Pro is also going to go down. The wall goes across. Blocks them off. Beautiful play. Will they split off? They go towards Ghost of Pepper. Ghost of Pepper gets a double kill there. And wow. The tables had turned. M5 had failed to break CLG EU's resistance before their late game prowess came into relevance. And they were about to pay for it. Taking on for a long time here. Diamond Prox is going to get in there, but they've not got Genja. They're going to peel off. They've caught Darien out. Darien has to pull away from this one. He will back away. Can they finish off the Baron? The Baron was down to about 8,000 hit points. CLG going to have to peel off this one. Shirelli is rubbing pops. That goes Darien. Absolutely destroyed. Genja now is the target as well. They're going to dive towards Genja. 
Then that kick comes out on towards Genja, headbutt, sorry, pulverized. Alex is now the target. That is wicked, picking up another kill. I cannot believe this is actually no. happening in front of me. Diamond Pro trying to get away from this one. Yellow Pete's just going to jump on his face any minute now. There we go, the shutdown comes in. The ace comes out from CLG. This is insane. 60 seconds spawn time. CLG gonna push this one through. In fact, they don't even care that those inhibitors oh are so focusing God. in them. The Nexus turret has already gone down. The second Nexus turret has come down and CLG pull off the oh. biggest comeback that we've ever seen in League of Legends at this level. Amazing. Absolutely insane. I cannot believe that that just happened. CLG EU had overcome seemingly insurmountable odds while staying true to their identity, snatching victory from the jaws of certain defeat. While the two sides would meet again throughout the rest of 2012, none of the matches would capture what defined their rivalry as well as this one. CLG EU in Moscow 5 at DreamHack Summer 2012 is a landmark moment in the rivalry between two of the most dominant teams in League's early days and is one of the most classic comebacks in esports history. The game still stands as a shining example that, even at the highest level, no lead is too great and that no match is unsalvageable, as long as you stick to the plan. But what the hell has just happened in front of our eyes? Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.